Remaining wintry, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. The jet stream, the river of air that separates two air masses, will be staying to our south. And yes, it will be a warmer day Wednesday than our Tuesday, but we're still only going to be around average, and that means wintry air for us, and that will carry over into Thursday as well. Now, even though air temperatures are colder Wednesday morning than they were on Tuesday morning, our wind chills, when you factor in the wind, not as cold, although still it's very frigid, as we go into our Wednesday morning, because again, those winds are weaker here. Looking at our forecast radar for today, radar is clear for us. A couple of snow showers in New England, and I'll be with an Alberta Clipper, a cold, fast-moving, low-pressure system that does stay to our north. So for Wednesday morning, plenty of sunshine for us. Temperatures rising into the upper 20s by 9 a.m. on that southwesterly wind, and we'll get into the low 40s for our high temperatures. That's pretty much seasonable for this time of the year here, a little bit gusty at times as well. You're out there a planner for Wednesday. I think we're all good here for the most part. You will be tight if you're exercising outside in the morning just because it's still going to be quite cold out here, especially with those slight wind chills that we have. Wind chills should be below 15 until about 9 a.m. Now, as we go into our Wednesday night, low temperatures are going to be in the upper 20s for those of you in Vineland and the inland areas. Brigantine shore around 33 degrees then as we go into Friday, we have our first of two holiday weekend nor'easters. Good news with this one, the center of a low pressure system should be about 500 miles to our east, so I'm not expecting anything other than a gusty day Friday with no rain. Notice those winds whipping out of the north-northeast. Could see coastal flooding, minor stage coastal flooding with the high tides, although I think it's going to be fairly limited here. Now, that will drive down very cold air. In fact, high temperatures on Monday, excuse me, Saturday, should only be in the mid-20s here. And when you combine that fresh cold air with moisture coming in from the south, you get a storm system. And that we will have as we go into Sunday and Monday of our Martin Luther King weekend. So on Tuesday night, we told you, hey, you know what? The storm is on here. But as we go into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we'll be able to give you more information here. So, you know, today I don't think we're going to have much new information for you. But on Thursday, we will be able to. I want to show you some storm scenarios for us, and the way we're going to point this out is look at the center of these low-pressure systems from our ensemble model. This is one model that is tweaked with just a little bit to give you a range of scenarios. This cluster here in green, we have a cluster here in blue, and then we have a cluster here in brown, mostly rain for the one in green, mostly snow in blue, and then the brown one is dry, and that's pretty much what we're going to see with that Friday nor'easter here, well out to sea, but... The majority of the consensus is for a mostly rain system. You may be saying, Joe, it's going to be in the 20s on Saturday. How can you get rain just 24 hours later? Well, that's because our low pressure system is going to be, in that scenario, perhaps to our west. And that means a screaming southeasterly wind. Water temps are in the mid-40s. We warm up into the mid-40s and we are plain rain here with coastal flooding and potentially damaging winds. Remember, on January 2nd to the 3rd, we went from record highs to snow. This would be exactly the opposite if that mostly snow scenario, excuse me, mostly rain scenario, did come true. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. Comfortable days, Wednesday and Thursday, at least for January standards. Cold on Friday. What's probably going to happen is high temperatures will be in the late morning, and then we fall below freezing by dusk, and then 11 degrees for our low on Friday night. It won't be windy at that. So wind chills probably around zero starting out our Saturday, and then we go into Saturday daytime, 25 for our high. Potential for coastal flooding exists on Friday. If we don't get it Friday, it really is looking likely. We will see it on Sunday and Monday, and we'll keep you updated on that again as we go into the coming days. We'll have more for you on social media, and of course, you can always come to our website, pressofac.com slash weather. We have the latest radar articles, podcasts, and more.